this video it's reminiscent of things that are happening all over um, Ukraine at the moment, the front line. We're seeing in a small, probably, area of woodland, vast open areas of Ukraine interspersed with little pockets of woodland, and that's where Russian forces will be setting up their defences. And what you're seeing here is the massively intense fighting that's happening in small areas, whether it's along a wood line or whether it's actually within the uh, a larger wood. Just the sense of all of these bunkers you can see here where they look very makeshift, but they absolutely work. They stop rockets. And you're watching a grenade being thrown in now to cl clear that area. But obviously the Ukrainians will be paranoid that the Russians have survived the initial onslaught. And here, tragically, is one of the Ukrainians has taken a hit. One of his comrades is uh, pulling him clear, while uh, one of his uh, fellows is providing covering fire. I'm very struck by watching this, that uh, there's a whole generation of people brought up on um, games, um, Call of Duty and other such games, first-person shooter, and that's what this feels like when you first look at it. But of course, there is no reset. You can't control that reset. You can't say, right, I've been killed, let's come back alive in another part of it.